new French Prime Minister, Michel Barnier, this afternoon gave his first major speech since taking on the job. At the National Assembly, he focused on the economy, with both tax rises and spending cuts on the cards now, as France seeks to narrow its budget deficit. Now, Barnier also faced quite a bit of discontent in the room, with left-wing MPs waving their voting cards to imply his appointment was not in line with democratic norms. Here's a little of Michel Barnier speaking a short while ago. Collectively, we are walking a tightrope. We have a lot to do. If we don't manage to do everything in all areas, we have to do things well to meet the expectations of the French people. We have to do it with the very little we have at our disposal. Well, let's speak to Clovis Casali, who's our reporter at the National Assembly, where Barnier has been speaking this afternoon. Clovis, good to talk to you. Look, first of all, um, no surprise, really, that in quite a bit of that speech, Barnier was focusing on the critical state of France's finances. Very revealing to hear uh, Michel Barnier, the new French Prime Minister, starting his uh, much-awaited speech with a reference to his hero, General de Gaulle, who at the time of this quote was head of the French resistance, writing to one of his friends, we've got to do a lot with a little. And Michel Barnier says that it's exactly the situation he's in uh, today. There will not be more spending, but better spending with uh, Michel Barnier as Prime Minister. And he said they would, uh, that him and his government would try to reduce deficits as much as possible because uh, forecasts show that uh, public deficits will be 6% of France's GDP next year. And uh, Michel Barnier's aim is to reduce it to 5% in 2025 and then back to the tolerated under the European uh, rules 3% in 2029. So, priority is to reduce a deficit. How will France do that? How will Michel Barnier do that? Well, firstly, he says the first remedy is to reduce hugely public spending, but he says he will spare the uh, less privileged, of course, here in France when it comes to education and health also. What does Michel Barnier says or say also? He says he wants more efficiency in uh, public spending, and by that he means also fighting fraud. And then the uh, French Prime Minister wants to uh, ask companies, big companies making huge profits, to uh, contribute more to help the, na the nation in these uh, difficult times. Clearly France's finances in a critical state, and that's the number one priority for Michel Barnier. And Clovis, a bit later on in that speech, he emphasised the need for dialogue with the French people and for compromise. Um, not a particularly easy task, it has to be said, given the divisions evident within Parliament. And Michel Barnier knows very well that he needs the support, uh, or at least the support on some laws of uh, opposition parties, notably the very powerful French far right at the National Assembly, and the powerful also a left-wing bloc. He knows it will be difficult and not surprising throughout this speech. Uh, some MPs were shouting at him, interrupting him, or at least trying to disrupt his speech, um, saying that he was lying at times when he was saying that he would defend uh, the environment, lying also, accusing him of lying when it came to defending the less uh, privileged. Uh, the uh, left-wing uh, MPs, some left-wing MPs at the National Assembly, waving their uh, voting cards, uh, showing the uh, Prime Minister their disapproval, saying that he's giving in to the French far-right. And that's a prime concern for many on the left here at the National Assembly. Uh, MPs telling us that Michel Barnier needs to please the far-right, and it's absolutely unacceptable. Take his uh, interior minister, Bruno Retailleau, saying that immigration wasn't a chance, wasn't helping uh, France. Those were strong words. Those were highly controversial words, and they've angered many MPs here, left-wing, but also centrist MPs. In other words, for Michel Barnier, it will be about, of course, uh, getting some kind of compromise, negotiation, dialogue, uh, winning over opponents here at the National Assembly, but it will be a very difficult, difficult task. Will his government survive? months, maybe years. Difficult to say. What we do know is that the left wing is going to vote in favour of a vote of no confidence against this government to basically force this government to uh, leave. And then the French far right is ready, ready any minute now 
to also join when that's the question. In a week, two weeks, three months, who knows, but the French far right, more powerful than ever. Clovis Casali for us there live at Parliament. Thanks very much indeed.